Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a selection of Christmas themed fountain pen inks that I have. I decided not to include any diamine ink pen inks because not everyone necessarily has access to those and also that would have made this video a little too easy. If you are interested in seeing the diamine ink pen inks for this year, I have been sharing them on my YouTube shorts feed, so be sure to head on over there and check it out later if you're interested. Right now, I'm unboxing all of my inks. They're not all brand new, I just like to keep them in the boxes until I find something better to store them in. I also find it hard to part with the packaging. I mean, look how beautiful this one is. The first ink we have on this list is the Sailor Tea Time ink. This one is called Christmas Tea. I managed to get a bottle of it from Pen Chalet during Fountain Pen Day. I really wanted one of the fountain pens that Sailor came out with for this collection, but I just couldn't afford it, so I felt like settling for the ink was perfectly fine. As you can see here, the camera's not really showing it too well, but this ink is actually quite red and orange. And I was surprised by how bright of a red it is, especially in the swatch. When you're writing with something like a fine nib, however, it does come out darker leading more towards a brown red instead of the orange red, but it was something that caught me off guard. I'm also going to do a swatch in my traveler's notebook, which has the MD paper. The second ink on this list is called Tachia Benesuchi. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but this is a mix of a brown and red ink, and it is darker than the Sailor ink. I feel like it reminds me of the bricks on an old-fashioned chimney, which makes it perfect for Christmas because that's where you hang your stockings, right? I find this to be a really beautiful shading ink. It is not necessarily wet, but it's definitely not dry, so I'd say it's somewhere in between. I am super excited about this next color. I had to wait extra long for this one because Colt Pens held my order along with my ink pen because they had run out of stock of this ink. But it is from Dominant Industries and it is called Christmas Red. This one is a beautiful red velvet color that has gold shimmer and it reminds me of the red Christmas bows that you see in decorations everywhere. I just adore these ink bottles. They're shaped like light bulbs and Dominant Industry is a fairly new ink company, I believe, but they have drawn me in with the attention to the detail on this bottle. Ink number four on my list is 
an ink sample from Yoseka Stationery. It is called Yoseka Ceramics Tang Mi Se Blue. I believe it is one of Yoseka's original ink colors. The reason I chose this one for Christmas is because it's a nice faint green, not very not very loud, but it's soft and muted. It almost reminds me of jade. I've always thought of jade as a very calm and peaceful gem, which we definitely all need during the holidays. I'm adding this swatch to my page of greens in my Traveler's Company notebook. The fifth ink on this list is from Ferris Wheel Press. It is called Misguided Mistletoe. This is actually the third ink bottle that I've bought in my life, and I am obsessed with it. I love the bottle and it is a gorgeous green with gold shimmer and a tiny tiny bit of red sheen if you look close enough i bought this ink from atlas stationers last year when i first got into fountain pens and i still use it very regularly Ink number six is another sample from Yoseka Stationery. It is created by Lennon Toolbar and it is called Firmament. This is actually a waterproof ink, which is interesting because I've never used one of those before. I love the way it lays down though, it reminds me of a deep forest green and it makes me feel like going into the woods and chopping down a Christmas tree. Let me throw in a disclaimer there, I've never actually done that and I don't even know if that's how it's done these days, but it's part of my imagination. We made it to the last and final ink of this list is is a, another Yoseka stationery sample. It is from Kyo no Oto called Ryoku Yorio. This is a green ink which also has blue in it and it has silver shimmer. It reminds me of not committing fully to cold arctic blue winter but more of a festive color with a nod to the cold and the frost Coming in with my Sailor Pro Gear Slim to write the header, which is going to be Christmas Inks 2022. We're 
we're just going to come in here and label the ink swatches. This is my green inks page in my traveler's notebook. So this is actually the last few pages of an insert in my traveler's company notebook. I would like to move all of this one day into an actual ink journal. That would be amazing. Hopefully that will be a fun project in 2023. Look at that. Look at my collection of green inks. Oh, I love it. So on this page, I never really intended on accumulating any red or pink inks because I don't really enjoy using them to write all that much. But somehow, over the course of fall and winter, I got influenced by Instagram youtube and the internet and ordered a bunch so that's why there's purple on this page i never really intended on having any more room beyond purples and grays and browns here's a final shot of what the inks look like when they are dried i got really excited to see this green sheen in the sailor christmas tea ink that showed up after it was dried. It's so fun. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed watching these swatches and get some inspiration from this video to pick out some inks of your own for Christmas. I'm sorry it's a little late in the month, but hopefully you can still enjoy watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what inks you're using for Christmas, and I wish you all a very merry holiday. Bye.